In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on February 11, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Philadelphia 76ers vs. Brooklyn Nets Philadelphia 76ers meet Brooklyn on Saturday night. The 76ers are coming off of a win against the Knicks on Friday night. Philadelphia has won three of their last five games. The Nets have revamped their team after Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving were traded before the deadline. The Nets won their first game since the trade with their new pieces. Looking at the betting trends, the 76ers are 6-2 against the spread in their last eight games playing on zero days rest and 1-6 against the spread in their last seven games against a team with a home record above .600. The Nets are 6-0 against the spread in their last six home games, 5-1 against the spread in their last six games against a team with a winning record, and 4-0 against the spread in their last four games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the 76ers are 2-5 against the spread in the last seven meetings overall. The 76ers currently don't have a single player listed on the injury report, but I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to rest and beat on the second game of a back-to-back -back set. The Nets could be shorthanded again as they are still missing Seth Curry, but the new recruits, Cameron Johnson and Mikkel Bridges have both been upgraded to questionable to debut for their new teams. The 76ers come into this meeting as the more settled team in better form, but the new look Nets look great in their win over the Bulls and they could gain some reinforcements with the new recruits waiting to get on the floor. This is a tough one to pick, but the Nets are 6-0 against the spread in their last six home games and I think they can pull off the upset against a weary 76ers squad. So the Brooklyn Nets to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The 76ers accumulated 137 points on a dazzling 54% mark from three-point range in the previous meeting late last month. This is no coincidence as the 76ers rank third in three-point efficiency while the Nets continue to give up threes, ranking 30th in the NBA in three-point defense. In addition, the Nets have averaged a solid 117 points in their last five games, which is above their season average of 115 points. They connected on 51% of their field goals in the previous meeting against the 76ers for a remarkable 133 points. The over is also a convincing 4-1 in the Nets' last five games. I expect plenty of scoring in this game. Over the projected total is our full GAM total pick. Denver Nuggets vs. Charlotte Hornets It's an interconference clash on the hardwood as teams on opposite ends of their respective conferences' playoff pictures take the floor in Buzz City. The Denver Nuggets are on the road as they make the trip to take on the Charlotte Hornets Saturday night. Denver was beaten 115-104 to by Orlando on the road Thursday night in their most recent game, losing outright as a five-point favorite. Charlotte logs the second game of a back-to-back -back set here as they were on the road to face Boston in Beantown Friday night. The Hornets took on Washington on the road Wednesday night, falling 118-104 to and failing to cover as a three-and-a-half-point underdog in a Southeast Division tilt. In the all-time regular season series between the teams, the Nuggets own a 35-30 to advantage and have won the last two meetings. That includes a 119 to 115 home win in the first matchup this season on December 18, 2022. The Denver Nuggets have been in decent shape as they've won four of their last six games, but they will be eager to bounce back in this one after laying an egg against the Magic in a 115 to 104 road loss on Thursday. Aaron Gordon led the team with 37 points, 13 rebounds on 15 of 21 shooting. Nikola Jokic added 29 points with 12 rebounds and six assists while Michael Porter J are chipped in with 12 points, but no other player finished in double figures in scoring. As a team, the Nuggets shot 46% from the field and 10 of 33 from the three-point line as they opened the game with a 12-0 run, but it's like they switched off because the Magic quickly erased that lead and dominated the rest of the game to pull off the big upset. 
Jokic didn't get himself going until the second half, while Porter Jr. had a night to forget as he shot just 3 of 16 from the field. Meanwhile, the Charlotte Hornets have been in a real slump as they've lost 8 of their last 10 games overall and they will be hoping to put an end to a 6-game slide after getting routed by the Celtics in a 127-116 road loss last night. Terry Rozier led the team with 27 points, LaMelo Ball tallied 24 points with 9 rebounds and 10 assists while P.J. Washington chipped in with 17 points. As a team, the Hornets shot 48% from the field and 8 of 23 from the 3-point line as they struggled to keep up with the Celtics from the start and allowed 71 points in the first half to fall behind by as many as 28 points before they made a bit of a run in the second half to keep the final scores respectable. The Nuggets are 2-7 against the spread in their last 9 Saturday games and 1-4 against the spread in their last 5 road games. The Hornets are 3-9 against the spread in their last 12 home games and 0-4 against the spread in their last 4 games overall. The over is 5-1-1 to to in Nuggets' last 7 overall. The under is 5-0 in Hornets' last 5 overall. The Nuggets are 1-5 against the spread in the last 6 meetings in Charlotte. I don't want to back the Hornets as much as the next guy, as this team has been awful all year, and they're not covering numbers despite being big underdogs nightly. However, the Denver Nuggets are on the road, where they lose by an average of 5 points and allow 50.4% shooting. A lot of points here. So the Charlotte Hornets to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Nuggets could be shorthanded again as Jamal Murray is questionable while Aaron Gordon is listed as day-to-day. -day. The Hornets will be missing a couple of players as SVI Mikaela and Cody Martin are both out again. The Hornets are eighth in pace of play entering this interconference meeting with the Nuggets. Two nights ago, Kristaps Porzingis dropped eight three-pointers on them, and they will face one of the best players in the NBA here with Jokic. He finished Thursday's 115-104 to loss to the Magic with 29 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 blocks and 1 steal across 38 minutes. Denver lost that game, but expect a similar output against a Hornets team that struggles mightily against flexible bigs like Nikola. As long as Charlotte can hit a handful of threes, this game will go past the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Heat vs. Orlando Magic Miami will try to extend its two-game winning streak when it travels to Orlando on Saturday night. The Heat were able to make it back-to-back -back wins with their 97-95 victory over Houston on Friday, using a buzzer beater to pick up the win. Orlando has won three of its last four games, beating Denver by 11 points on Thursday. The Heat are 1-4 against the spread in their last five road games and 1-5 against the spread in their last six games overall. The Magic are 11-5 against the spread in their last 16 home games and 23-9 against the spread in their last 32 games overall. The over is 8-2 in Heat last 10 Saturday games games. The under is 5-1 in Magic last 6 overall. The Heat are 2-7 against the spread in the last 9 meetings. The Heat are still shorthanded as Victor Oladipo, Duncan Robinson and Kyle Lowry are all out again, while the Magic are keeping an eye on Gary Harris who is questionable for this one. The Heat were far from convincing in their narrow win over the lowly Rockets last night, but the bottom line is that they were playing below their best and still managed to get the job done when it mattered. The Magic come into this meeting with plenty of momentum themselves and they would have taken in so much confidence from their dominant win over the Nuggets on Thursday. To start, Orlando has covered in their last three straight games against Miami and seven of the last nine. Meanwhile, the Heat are 1-5 against the spread in their last six games and the Magic are 11-4 in their last 15. That's a significant edge to Orlando in terms of recent form and matchup history. I also expect that they'll get a more favorable whistle in Orlando than they did in their last game in Miami. Additionally, the Heat is still out a ton of players including Kyle Lowry, Victor Oladipo, Dippo and Duncan Robinson. The Magic will also have a rest advantage as Miami is on the second night of a back-to-back -back after grinding out a late win against the Rockets Friday night. There's a good convergence of positive data points in the trends and a beneficial scheduling advantage that pushes me toward the Magic here. So the Orlando Magic to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The over is 20-8 in the last 28 games that Miami has played with no rest. The Magic have seen the over hit in five of their last six home games against teams with losing road records. In their last five games, Orlando is averaging 111 points while the Heat are nearly identically averaging 110.4. It's a very rough approximation, but it adds up to 221. In their last nine games against each other where the Magic covered seven times, the total has gone over five times, and I predict it happens for a sixth time. Due to the lack of rest for the Heat, I expect to see some drop in defensive effort due to fatigue. Over the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.